Welcome back, everyone. Well, have you ever wanted your own fresh eggs? Nick Fedoroff takes us in the garden to show us how to maintain your own chicken coop. <laughs> now, this is really cool. If you take a look, you can see what this amber link chicken has been doing over here. <gasps> Laying eggs, isn't that awesome? Uh, a chicken will typically lay one egg a day. And what's really interesting about it is that this right here, <gasps> Oh, what did I do? Oh, did it break? No, it didn't break. You know why? Because when you, you have to teach the chickens to lay the eggs. So this right here is an actual egg, uh, is a fake egg. This is a real egg. So I'm not gonna drop this one. I'm going to drop this one in here. So once they kind of get used to the idea that there's eggs in there, the chickens will come around and they will lay their eggs. Now, one of the things is that there are a lot of different types of chickens. One chicken, uh, happens to be the amber link as we just mentioned we also have things like the red uh, Rhode Island Reds they're extremely docile chickens to have and then the last one is called the lacewing Wyandotte and they're really pretty cool to have and if you treat them super super nice you'd be surprised how nice they are and they all have characters that's what's really kind of kind of cool about this so if you do something like this Let's see. There you go. Oh, come on. So sometimes they'll come up. Live animals, you never know. You know, children and animals, you never know what's going to happen with them. So let's see. This, you guys want one of these? Okay, let's just see. So these right here, that happens to be the Wyandotte, I mean the, the Red Island Road. Ah. Rhode Island Reds, and they are just super, super cool and fun to have. Now, when you get these things, you have to remember that the chickens, they're alive animals. You have to be careful with them, and you have to treat them as such. Got to keep them cool. In the summertime, we use misters. We'll take and we'll uh, make sure that there's shade for them. You have to have the right kind of coop for them, and what's going to happen is that they're going to give you these eggs. Now, the eggs, you know, you go to the market, and you're going to see, well, let me this here. You're going to see the, you're going to go to the market and you're going to see eggs and they're going to say fresh on there. They're not fresh. These are fresh eggs. When a chicken lays an egg, you're going to, in fact, maybe you could see it right here. They put a protective coating on there called a bloom. And this bloom, if you're going to handle the eggs, you have to wash your hands off afterwards. In fact, we actually take and we wash the eggs, soap and water, before we actually take and we cook with them because we don't want any kind of bacteria. Now, in order for the, uh, to get into the eggs, so, uh, and oh, by the way, you don't have to refrigerate these after you, after you, you, you uh, select them and you harvest the eggs. They'll stay out for, oh, like, you know, solid two, maybe even three weeks, two for sure. So you don't have to worry about that. And then I think this is a kind of fun little spinny rooney thing that we have here. And we put the eggs in here and then they'll take and you just pull them out and it just goes right down. Huh. All right, so the chickens will need a whole bunch of different types of food. When you start them off, you have to have this little chicken feed. So they're little baby chickens. It's already kind of really super, super ground up for them, and they're going to dig on this. Uh, you have, always, always have to, also have to give them diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth, uh, of course, is what we use in the garden to ward off insects. Here we have some calcium. Calcium is very necessary for them so their eggs could be nice and strong. As a matter of fact, when I crack these eggs, I don't crack them like this or on the counter. I take a butter knife and I have to smash them because they're so thick and they're so, so neat. And then finally, we have their actual feed. Now, all of our feed here is organic feed and it's so important to have that. Uh, organic feed for these for these animals. So if anybody wants to know more about urban homesteading, you can uh, call me at 1-800-405-NICK. I'm also making a personal appearance today at the Conejo Valley Home Show at the Hyatt Regency in Westlake. I'll be there at 11 o'clock and we're going to teach you how to homestead in the garden. Mm -hmm.